All right, as we've seen before, Red Bull knows how to put on a good, good show when it comes to extreme sports. Yeah, and this weekend they're hosting a huge first of its kind in Minnesota snowmobile race. It's called Red Bull Snow Boundaries. And while temperatures are set to climb well into the 40s, race organizers say they're not worried about the course melting. Molly Rosenblatt is live in Elk River right now, so why won't the warm weather be an issue? Hey, Amelia, you know, the track here at ERX right behind me, well, it's just a small part of the entire course. And Red Bull actually used about 12 million, million gallons of water to build eight miles of this. So they have enough snow, so they're not worried about the melting. It's an endurance-based adrenaline junkie's dream. Red Bull snow boundaries will be a mix of snow cross and cross-country racing. Organizers say it's the first of its kind. There's never been a race like this anywhere in the world. ERX uh, owner Chris Carlson says they had hoped for a classic snow lover's Minnesota winter. That's frequent snowfalls and cold enough temperatures for it to stick around, and we've had uh, none of that. So, <laughs> so we are doing our best. Even though Mother Nature hasn't been cooperating, they've still been able to build the course. It's taken eight snow guns and 25 days of round the clock snow making. It's a giant operation that includes large volumes of water, piping, and tanker trucks. Carlson says with a base several feet deep, a few days of melting won't be an issue. If it was 20 below zero that they were predicting, we'd really have an issue on our hand. We wouldn't be losing any snow, but we'd be losing fans. More than 200 riders will compete from around the world. And for the fans, he promises the ultimate snowmobiling experience. They're going to see high flying action. We've got one jump in particular, a flyway, where they're going to fly over 100 feet. And then we've got ice sections where we're going to be running through Cross water. And after watching racer Ryan Springer practice at high speeds, getting big air, I couldn't resist the opportunity to get my adrenaline fix. Thank you. Oh yeah, my God, no that was like the best adrenaline rush ever. <laughs> Yeah, it was a tough day at the office, that's for sure. So the race starts this Saturday at 2 p.m. It lasts for an hour and a half, so that is going to be quite the endurance tester for those riders. I know I was tired just from uh, holding on to Ryan for about 15 minutes. Frank and Amelia? Oh, Molly, did he, t did he go in the air when you were holding on to him? Yeah, I lost my hat, <laughs> and then I didn't want to let go of him to go back and get it. So that was smart. Wait, but it was it was fun. It was fun. Oh, good. It looks like it. All right. Thank you, Molly. That's some extreme stuff there. Yeah, I mean, it's a bummer because some will melt for sure. Oh, know? a 